Hello, everyone. I want to wish you all a Merry Diecast Christmas. I hope you all found some Diecast under the Christmas tree, and if so, let me know in the comments. Today I'm going to show you some of my winter Christmas vehicles and figures. And we are going to start with my favorite. This Christmas Lamborghini from Time Model slash Time Micro. I think I showed it uh, last year, not 100% sure. Anyways, it is very cool. Oh, maybe I can show you the box first. Pretty cool looking box. Um, here we got some more information, barcode, article number, some text, freeze the frame. If you want to read it, you see it comes in a nice display case. And a nice card for the background. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So here, and I camera a little bit to the front so here we have the Lamborghini of Lamborghini I have to say very well detailed two brake cloths here on the back wheel uh, pretty cool what they wrote on the tires time model in combination with China I like that Really nice red color. Merry Christmas here in the front. Um, windscreen wipers are not molded in the glass. They are lying loose on the glass. Happy New Year here on top. I really like those rims. And you can see the Lamborghini logo in the middle. Lamborghini. I said it again, sorry. And here we got the back, lots of details, a very nice spoiler, what's it say, Christmas, oh, yeah, got some engine details, uh, let's take it off the base because I'm really curious if it's a metal base or a plastic one, normally Time Micro has metal base. There we go. Nice metal base. Yes. Uh, good profile on the tires, by the way. And uh, for some of you, it's important to know if the wheels are rolling really well. Uh, let's take a look. Let's do it like this. Back wheels are rolling pretty good, but uh, the front wheels, uh, forget it. But uh, overall, ah, we got some silver paint or silver sticker on the on the side mirrors, and we got a nice interior, good steering wheel. Yeah, this is a very cool model. Okay, let's take a look at this one over here. It is from Edo Car, uh, Dutch diecast brand, which is no longer anymore. And it is perfect for a winter photo. Don't know uh, the exact scale. Couldn't find any. We got the barcode and article number and some text. Freeze the image if you want to read it. So here we got the base, Edo car. You see it's already a little bit rusty. Rubber tracks and uh, they're rolling pretty well. Yeah, that's very cool. Mountain ski course. We even got uh, some seats there inside. White interior. This is the front. This is a really cool looking snowmobile. I like it a lot. Body is made out of die cast. Yeah, rubber tracks. 
rolling. Very good. Is it? Perfect. Yeah, I like this one a lot, and I was happy to find it on uh, eBay. Oh, be careful. There we go. Okay, then I have these uh, mountain figures. They are made by Race Metal. If you're looking for figures, I get many questions about that. Uh, where do you get your figures? Well, some from AliExpress, some on Instagram, and some from Tom's Model Cars. A uh, big Dutch store. Well, actually, the biggest Dijkus car store in the world. Uh, these race medals I got from AliExpress. They have really good figures. Price quality, really good. You see, they are really well packed. But uh, yeah, I have to wait for some snow here in the Netherlands to make a good photo in combination with this snowmobile. That would be very cool. Okay, let's put this back. Maybe you want some information. They have a store on AliExpress where you can find it. Then I have this uh, a Mini from Tiny Toys. Morris Mini Rally in a winter livery. Classic racing. Still in the package. I think I already got it a year, but yeah. Last year, no snow. You can see it's uh, officially licensed by BMW. Mini license, that is what we like. Uh, barcode, article number, some text, freeze the frame. You can see they're active on social media. But the most important thing is how is this car looking? Okay, we got some plastic right here for protection. And it's in a little zack. There it is. What is the skill? This is a 150 skill. Pretty cool and well done. Weathered winter mini. Even got a light on top. Oh, I like this front a lot, my friends. This is really cool looking. Uh, we have a plastic base, we even got some snow on the tires. Uh, we also have an opening part, right hand steering, because it's a British car. Good looking interior, let's take a look at the other side. Yeah, looks very nice. Do we have an opening hood? I don't think so. Yeah, we do. Oh, that's cool. And some details on the engine. That is real nice. Well done, Tiny. I like that. That makes it even better. Fantastic. Now I have to wait for some snow. Mini Cooper Rally. Great Britain. Tiny. Okay, uh, let's put this right here. Oh, does the wheel are rolling? Yes, they are rolling really well. Oh, the front wheel, when it's reverse, it blocks, but... No, it drives really good. Not that bad. It's not that bad. Then I've got this one over here from Inno64. Nissan Sunny. Hakota Tara. Hakota Tora. Hakataki. Something. Um, Inno Santa Truck. Um, this is also from last year. And you can see I did not open it yet. And I believe it comes with uh, Santa Claus. Ripped to the bone. 
as you can see it comes in a nice box here we got some information freeze the frame if you want to read it barcode article number for the ones who are interested let's open this very nice box uh, what does it say christmas 2021 special edition and we can already see the ripped santa claus and here a nice card from inno 64 merry christmas 2021 feels like a couple of weeks ago but it is a year ago okay we can open this Holy smoke, that thing looks totally sick, awesome. Dude, why didn't you open it last year? Ah, there is also a Christmas tree. How cool is that? And the Christmas tree is lying. In the back of the truck. Man, this thing is cool looking. Merry Christmas in a Santa truck. Right hand steering. Uh, whoa! Christmas tree is falling off. But that's okay. You can put it like this. Nice wheels. Advan tires. Uh, Yoko Hum. Here we got the back, you know, center truck, you know, license plate. We see a piece of the exhaust. We got uh, lanced lights. This feels like plastic, but the body is uh, die cast. Side mirrors are in front of the truck. Can we open the hood? Nee, 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 that's not possible. Okay, let's take it off the base. There's even some snow here. Got some sort of diorama. You see some tracks here on the base. That is also pretty cool. This is definitely a must have. Okay, let's put this right here and then I can show you uh, the diorama with the tracks. Really cool looking. Okay, we have to take this off. And then we got the base. We have a nice metal base. We have a chromed exhaust system. Yeah, we definitely have a winner here. Um, does it roll? Not that good. The wheels are rolling, but it's not for the racetrack. It's not made for the racetrack. What a cool car. Very cool uh, and the christmas tree simple but uh meh, not bad at all and the cool thing is you can put it in the back of the car voila then we're going to take a we're going to have a look at uh, santa and his girlfriend <laughs> check this santa claus holy smoke he's going to the gym every day that's for sure Ripped to the bone with an axe. I don't know if I uh, saw this Santa Claus in real life, I would be a little bit afraid. But yeah, it's uh, something different than the regular Santa Claus, the fat Santa Claus with the beard. And this is his hot chick. Not bad at all really cool set like i say like i said definitely a must-have figures no problem they will stand on their own um then the last one is from uh mini gt and also comes oh it's not the last one i have another item um this one also comes with uh some figures uh santa claus and a moose reindeer I have to say here you see the back Land Rover 
officially licensed by TSM model barcode article number. Merry Christmas, limited edition, one of 10,000. Is that limited? I guess so. If you put on the package that it's limited, then it is limited. But that is what we want, don't we? Limited editions. Okay, here it is. And here we got the Santa Claus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's take everything out. Where's the Santa Claus? So funny looking Santa Claus. Really nice for a diorama. If you put it next to the ripped to the bone Santa Claus. You can see the difference. Funny Santa Claus and ripped to the bone Santa Claus. And here we got the girlfriend from Funny Santa Claus. Oh. A nice reindeer with a bell. Also pretty cool looking. Yeah, I like that. I appreciate that. Let's put it next to the girlfriend from a Rift to the Bone Santa Claus. Then we got this Land Rover. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of this uh, model, of this casting. I prefer uh, the longer Land Rovers, but uh, yeah, this one is okay, especially in Christmas livery. I like that. Merry Christmas here on the roof. Merry Christmas on the front. Santa 12 car. Yeah, very well done, Mini GT. And uh, of course, we got a metal base for Mini GT with uh, details. Those wheels are a little bit thin, but uh, that is what you got with those Land Rover Defenders. Lanced headlights here, uh, Defender in the middle. And we got a tow bar here in the back. Okay, do I have more? Yes. I've got these figures from uh, American Diorama, Santa's Day Out. And here you can see this is also a limited edition, 4800 Dicus Metal, 164 scale figures. Now, what do you got? You got uh, a traditional Santa Claus with uh, three girlfriends and a reindeer. So this one does it a little bit better than the one from Inno and Mini GT. And uh, these are actually die-cast figures. I can uh, take them out of the package. Let's do that right now. I open, I always open these packages like this. So I take this off. Whoop. And here on the side a little bit. So then you got a good opening part right here and you can take it out very easy. Here you see it in combination with a car with some presents. Um, we got one present in the package and the car is sold separately. Now you know. Okay, let's take a look at the figures. Girlfriend one. Will she stand? Yep, that's no problem. And we got girlfriend number two. Some of you might wonder why don't they pay uh, paint some uh, eyes in it? Well, that is very difficult in 164 and uh, I have some figures where they painted the eyes and it doesn't look good, I can tell you. It looks really weird. Oh. This one is holding a present and uh, I think you can put her on a car or will she stand? No, I think she will stand. Yep, no problem. Then we have Santa Claus himself, a traditional nice looking Santa Claus. Really cool looking. Let's put him next to the girlfriends. 
And then we have the Moosh right here. Rudolph, it's Rudolph because you got a red nose. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. Let's put him next to his friend. And then we got a present. A big present, probably with some die cast in it. Now I have one more thing to show you. Back in a sec. Almost forgot about this one from M2, a Mijo exclusive with a Christmas tree in the back. Uh, not going to open this one, it's in a Christmas ball and it's hanging in the Christmas tree here in my house. Yeah, but it's a really cool looking vehicle. Coca Cola livery, I like that, and uh, also a good looking Christmas tree in the back. Really happy with that. Side mirrors, very important. We got a license plate with nothing. Here, Datsun on the back. Uh, plastic base. Hmm, doesn't look like a plastic base. It does look like a metal base. Um, if you know if it's a metal or a plastic base, please let me know in the comments. For now, I have to say, Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share this video with your Diecast friends and I'll be back with a new Diecast video soon. Merry Christmas and have a good day. See you later. Bye.